My people, Habu is the world's best Stardew Valley player, but is he capable of blending in with a bunch of normal people? That's what we're going to find out tonight. It is Undercover Habu. I'm going to give him and three of my mods a couple of tasks, and Habu has to try to blend in with them. Let's get into it. Habu, for the stakes, if you are able to hide among the normal people for the entire time and chat can't figure out who you are, chat owes you a subscription on YouTube and they're going to bug you to make more YouTube videos. But if they figure out who you are, then you have to pour honey on your head. I have so much hair. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, baby. Nice. Oh, that I have so much hair. That is going to go terribly. <laughs> All right. Your first task is to earn 500 additional gold. Red boy, your time starts now. All right, we've got parsnips on deck. We love to see it. Interesting spot to do the layout. And also, oh, we're going down. I did not expect that. Okay. Okay, so we're going to plant parsnips for our money. Is that going to be enough? I think that is. That's that's just straight up 500, right? All right, we're going to bed. I'll move bed for you. All right, good. He's cheating. He's cheating. <laughs> I'm helping. I'm helping. I'll do that for everyone. So far, no double waters. Looks pretty professional. Pretty good gameplay. Day four, going to get some of the final watering in. Seems pretty good, seems pretty good. All right, seems pretty solid. Not a single double water out of all of that. Not a single one. Rain day on the fifth does not help us now. That should get all the money that's needed. Selling it to the bin and back to bed. And that is enough, that is time. 500 gold earned in two minutes and 47 seconds. The parsnip strategy seems to have paid off. All right, your time starts now. Earn 500 gold and we're sleeping. Oh, we're going right to bed. Already, already a difference in strategy. I like this. All right, on the third day now, we're going out on this first rainy day. Ooh, and we're getting the parsnips today. Interesting, interesting routing. We're checking mail, I think, or maybe we forgot the mailbox is there and we ran into it. Tough to tell. Okay, we are clearing space and we're hoeing. Is it going to be the typical five by three pattern? Okay, so far we're looking at a four by two. There's a scythe of the fiber, even though you could have just hoed over that. And now we're switching to pickaxe, clearing that. Okay. Is this Habu pretending to do this suboptimally? Or is he actually... Oh my god, okay. A quick lag spike and we're back underway. We're going to bed. Interesting to start on the third day. Is this strategy going to be faster? Someone said this is Habu because he waited for it to rain. Is that true though? Oh, he's watering me now. <laughs> Interesting. They're standing in the right spot now. That's the easiest way to water, I see. See, no matter what, you're going to take advantage of that rain day. So I, I think this is slower, but I don't know. Maybe not because you can't get a rain day on day one or two. So I guess now there's like a chance of getting more. Coming up on the two minute mark. Oh, we need some more water. Okay. And now we're popping back up here. And the final day of watering coming in now. We are a little bit behind pace compared to Red Boy. We are already going to sleep now at 247, which is when Red Boy finished up. The parsnips are ready. It is a plentiful harvest for Purple Boy. I'm going to sell them to the bin and we'll tuck into bed. All right, same, pretty much same strategy. Slightly different way of doing it though, which did turn out to be worse, unfortunately. But that is time. 317. All right, so 30 seconds slower. Go. Okay, steady start. Are we going to see the same strategy? Let's find out. Oh, it is sleep time. Another sleep. Are we waiting until this rain day or are we going to do something different? Once again, the strategy that was just proven to be slower, we are going to be seeing again for some reason. This is pretty solid so far. Oh, we're, oh, oh, the forbidden. Wait a second. The forbidden vertical, not the five by three. We're, we're witnessing a three by five right now. Look at that. Another sleep, interesting. I hate it too, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep sleeping under the assumption that they will also keep sleeping. Is this the strategy I think it is? First of all, the forbidden three by five, but then also the pray for rain strat? I don't know if this is faster or not. I guess theoretically it could be really, really fast, but oh, there's the third rain day, all right. Oh, another rain day for your troubles. And all of the parsnips are ready. Individual picking of the parsnips, no, no fast pick there, just individual picks, very interesting. And back to bed. Wow, that's barely faster than Purple Boy by two seconds. All right, our final contestant, Green Boy, with some lime green pants to match the, the green rest of the outfit. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Green Boy is the laggiest of the punch. All right, another mail check. No, I think that was walking into the mailbox. But you can tell me, would, would Forage have been the most optimal? No. 
Sell the parsnip seeds, sell the forage, that doesn't get you 500. You need, you would need 10 leeks or 10 horseradishes. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We have returned to the five by three, the most optimal layout. And we are going to be doing the watering strategy. So it looks like it's going to be a race between Green Boy and Red Boy doing the exact same thing. But who can do it better? Green Boy is the color of the ungrown parsnip. We'll see if that's an advantage. Everyone's like theorizing. Green Boy is Blade. Purple Boy is... Th Guys, it's, it's my mods. It's... <laughs> Oh, stopping for some quick water. That has been an issue that everyone has gotten hung up on so far, except the uh, the person who slept for all the rain days. Green Boy here on pace to uh, to world record. Are we about to see and earn 500 gold world record right in front of our very own eyes? Let's see how fast Green Boy is able to harvest these crops. Looks pretty decent. Heading to the bin right now. 20 seconds remaining. That was a fast bin. Fast bin indeed. And it looks like that is going to be slightly faster than Red Boy. 235 by only two seconds. Two seconds separated both first and second and third and fourth. Very interesting. All right, so chat, what you guys are going to do is vote for the one person that you think isn't Habu, and we're going to kick that person out of the competition. All right, you guys are fairly convinced that Green Boy is definitely not Habu. Green Boy will not be rejoining us again here. Your challenge is going to be to get to level 10 in the mines as fast as possible, and right on time, here comes White Boy. Here we go, your time starts in three, two, one, go. And White Boy is off, stopping for some forage, I like that. This is also the optimal route to the mines. And we're into the mines, let's see how quickly they skip that cutscene. Uh, Somewhat fast, somewhat fast. Ooh, immediate ladder. <laughs> okay, it took a second. It took a second, but we did find that ladder. Nice. Oh, a, a freebie. Oh, I got a geode. I saved White Boy from a geode animation. All right, uh, White Boy absolutely cheating. Has one hit break and one hit kill enabled right now. So White Boy's time will be unverified and will not be submitted to the leaderboards. Oh, I picked up another geode. I didn't. I don't mean to help. I really don't mean to help. White boy on floor nine now. A little problematic. White boy now avoiding all of the rocks that take two hits to break as they feel guilty for having the CJB cheats mod enabled. All of the rocks are falling slowly, one at a time, one at a time. But white boy only now sees the ladder, perhaps implying that they were not fully zoomed in or they're not fully zoomed out. Interesting. Interesting performance. Ooh, we've got Pink Boy joining us. Interesting. Pink Boy, your time starts now. Oh, and up we go. Also stopping for the leaks. Maybe stopping and thinking for a little bit, potentially. But we're moving on. Pink Boy opting to go for this leak. Potentially zoomed out. I was zoomed in and couldn't see that leak yet. All right, Pink Boy stopping to think for a second now. The ladder is right there. And Pink Boy immediately getting to work on these rocks. Easily clears through level one. Starts moving on level two now. Ooh, a bug kill. Not something that we saw coming out of the first boy. Another kill. Another kill. I did steal that green algae. Hopefully it does not come back to kill Pink Boy because then everyone will call it rigged. All the slimes are interested in me. We need a spectator mode for Stardew, honestly. On to level four now. Behind pace of White Boy, but not using the cheats mod, so this time is legit. Oh, <gasps> no geode animation, full inventory. Very helpful for Pink Boy. Still choosing to hit the double rocks, though, wasting some energy. Now, bugs are one hit kill, no insta kill. Ooh, another kill, pretty fast, and a ladder. This run is so much less lucky. <laughs> the first <laughs> run true. literally had like three staircases at the start. <laughs> Skill issue. Honestly, it is. <laughs> Always a skill issue. A quick leak eat. A little break for leak. Only two floors left. Good ladder, good ladder. Oh, and takes a second to see the freebie, but does eventually find it. With a time of 342, actually beats White Boy by seven seconds. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait. Our fine... <laughs> Something happened to the last boy. Um... Oh my god, okay. I think this one might actually be Wallagug. So we have White Boy, Pink Boy, and Wallagug as our last person. Wallagug, your time starts in three, two, just, just go. How all three of you guys got stuck on that sapling? Feels bad. Once again, stopping for the forage. And the action is back underway. Ooh, immediate ladder. And a freebie. Love to see it. Broke a rock that wasn't necessary to get to that, but that's fine. Gug did get slowed. Oh, well, I'll tell you one thing. This is Habu luck. What is that supposed to mean? You're the luckiest person I know. Alright. <laughs> well, Gug also does fall victim to the geode, though. Oh, but is also using the insta-kill. 
Interesting. Interesting stuff. Is one hit break enabled? Let's find out. That is an axe. No one hit. Okay, only one hit kill enabled. So cheating in a different way. Another quick kill of the carb. This feels like very fast paced, but honestly, I don't think it is that far ahead. On to floor seven. Gug making excellent progress. I mean, it's Wally Gug, isn't he cracked at the mines? He is. Still only on floor seven. Uh-oh. Fallen behind quick. A fast ending could save the run, but this is looking a little tough. Getting killed by the blue slime now. And all the way around after a full rotation, after a full loop of floor seven, we are only now finding the ladder. On to floor eight. A quick leak. There we go. Floor nine now. And could be any second now. 342 is the time to beat. <gasps> And it's done. It's been done. Wallagug with a 328. There's the laugh that we all know and love. So who is it, Haboo? You guys are all pretty much voting White Boy. You think that White Boy was definitely not Haboo. And so White Boy, you are not going to be joining us for the rest of this competition. The final task between our two final competitors is do a hat mouse run. And we're listening to Sea Shanty 2. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I can only see the bottom. Oh my god, all right. Competitor number one, are you ready to start your hat mouse run? Your time starts in three, two, one, go. This is gonna bring dishonor unto me. Okay, I should have been somebody else. I should have been the blueberry. The biggest indicator will be what is the route that they take. Oops, I took some wood. I'm gonna try not to interfere with this. So far, so good. So to do the hat mouse run, you just have to talk to the hat mouse. The easiest way to talk to him is to complete the achievement. You gotta craft 15 different things to unlock the hat mouse. Making some good progress. Now, if you do this at absolute maximum efficiency, you have all of the wood and all of the stone that you need, and you get to Robin's by 9 a.m., but you can see we're coming up on that time already. The fastest Haboo has ever done this is three minutes and 40 seconds, to give you a little bit of sense of scale. I don't mean to brag, but the fastest I've ever done this is <laughs> three minutes and 36 seconds, so. Or is it 333? I don't even know how cracked I am. Oh, we have exhausted ourselves, and we are making our way to the left side of the farm to consume a leak. Very, very interesting. We're gonna see if that comes back to bite him. Looks like we have all of the wood and all of the stone. We're making our way to Robin's about an hour late to our date, but that is fine. All right, pay attention to how fast the menuing is here. It's gonna be shop, go down to the very bottom, buy one of the recipes, scroll up, buy a few more of the recipes, and then pass out. It looks like we are about to be passing out here. A lot of extra energy despite being exhausted earlier. Okay, and we are finally now to the point where we'll be passing out. I'm gonna warp to the farm so that I don't slow them down at all. I'm gonna tuck into bed. Okay, and we are out the door. So if if Z did this correctly, then they now have all of the recipes that they need and foraging level one to get the siege recipe. All right, and we have now collected the acorn. I think our inventory was full and the achievement has been earned. Z has earned the DIY achievement. Now all that's left is to run down and talk to the hat mouse. After the clearing of some quick debris, we are on our way down. Go, little Z, go. Make me proud. We are going the optimal way to the hat mouse. Oh, Z was tempted by the horseradish, but chooses not to go in him again. Also not taking this all that all that close of a corner. And coming up on talking to the mouse. Boom. 518. We've got a blueberry for our last guy, I think. We're, we'll call you blue boy. We'll call you blue boy. It's a boo with duck lips. All right, here we go. And we're off. I'm going to fill up my inventory so I don't actually pick anything up. All right, coming back for some fiber now after chopping one tree, getting some of this stone. We are gonna need that. I like it. Holding a sap above his head. Oh, not once, but twice. No, we hear three times. Three times the sap has been flashed in front of us. Truly, we are blessed on this day. Oh, timer is wrong. This time the timer actually is wrong. We will subtract 538 from the timer. We'll just keep it rolling for now. Oopsies. Oopsies. I'm gonna cross to the left side of the farm, stopping potentially for some inventory organization. We're moving on. <gasps> a maple seed. Oh my god, that's actually so lucky. That's just like one less seed that you have to get on the next day. Soon gonna be time to start collecting stone. It's already 8, 10 in the morning. A second seed? Are you kidding me? All right, we're stopping for some fiber now, I think. Uh, it seems like really fast, but it looks like we've got all the stone that we need and we're going to be heading up to Robin's now. Entering Robin's at exactly 11.10 in the morning. We are ready to menu. Now let's take a look at how long it takes to go through the menus. All right, shop, scroll down to the bottom, buy the one recipe, scroll up a little bit, buy the other three recipes. You can see the money in the top right moving. And there we go. We are exhausting. Let's see, it was five swings before started to get exhausted, it looks like. All right, and now, uh, like... 
Hmm, only has to find one of the seeds, and it is the pine cone. Looks like instead of getting it out of the ground, gonna be opting to chop the tree down and hope that it falls to the ground. Oh, we're going to bed. Oh no. Oh, it didn't get the foraging level. And we are on our way. I, if I had to guess, I would imagine that we've crafted everything except the field snack right now. Although we are making our way to the left side of the farm. This run is very quickly becoming one of the longest hat mouse runs I've ever seen. Making our way back down to the stone, perhaps? Do we need some more stone? Oh, we need more fiber. We just need more fiber. Interesting. The campfire has been crafted, and we are back to chopping trees, baby. We are also low on wood somehow. Maple seed acquired. That is not the one you needed, unfortunately, though. I don't think, at least. I was incorrect. Somehow they needed the maple seed. Maybe they accidentally trashed it earlier or something. Let's find out. Let's continue on down now. All that's left is to run to the hat mouse. Amazing pace. Amazing pace. And boom. Let's find out what that time is. It's close, but that's enough. That's enough to call it, I think. You guys think that, hmm, is Habu. Habu, in the first round, who were you? The cursed yellow boy. In the second round, who were you? I was pink boy. But in this last round, were you hmm or Z? I was Z. Ooh, chat, <laughs> so close. So close, but so, so far. You guys were so, so close, but now you have to subscribe to the Haboo and bug him to make YouTube videos, please.